Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 40 of Factorio with the Space Exploration mod, where we have just set foot on the first new planet that we have went to so far, in search of this Cryonite, but I guess we need to kill some biters first. Please don't kill me. So do we go for a big patch or just a small patch that is nearby to begin with? Maybe we should start by setting up some solar power actually, so we don't have a problem with that later. Yep. So can we figure out a good layout with this sort of thing. We want a lot more solar panels than uh, accumulators. So we're gonna waste a bunch of space if we do something like this. We could try and do some rotational symmetry like this. That makes it a bit difficult to incorporate these though. But this can at least be... Set up pretty easily. I think. Is that how it's supposed to be? Should be able to. Oh wait, uh, some of these just need to overlap, I think. But no, this doesn't work either. <laughs> You should. I, I thought you would always be able to tile these, but apparently you need these everywhere then. I think I saw something that could work with accumulators with this. We do this. These exactly don't hit the, the power poles. Awesome. This would have been nice otherwise, I think. As we should be able to tile it onwards like this. We're just gonna keep it simple though. <laughs> Something like this that just goes in straight lines is awesome. How much we want to? So just to have a look here. No, I don't have a blueprint of a good ratio anymore. So I don't actually remember. But I think something like this, this will do just fine. Yep. Oh, and we have cliffs here. Even though I turned those off, they are on other planets. Good to know, I guess. How much of this stuff did we bring? We have a bunch more, so we are just putting more down. Hmm. 
I mean, we could easily have more of these here. So why not? Good enough for now. We don't have any more solar panels anyway. Good. We want to put down some extra accumulators. Nah, not right now, not now at least. Okay, so what we need is cryonite rods. So we mine cryonite, then we crush cryonite. Then we do steam stuff, get water back. This is the only way to get granite powder. Can you use this for anything else? Yes. Wait, no. Equal. No. Okay. So let's start by mining some. Actually, how much do we need for science? 8 per second if we want 4 per second of this. If we link this, it goes to 8. We would need 80 of this per second. So that's a lot more than we could get here. Up here, this core seam is a little bit in the way. This is a nice big patch, and there's not too many biters around. So I think we'll go there. Oh, we should bring some resources. Miners. Crushers. These force melting. We're gonna need some build. Maybe some underground. Some inserters. We needed oil stuff, so let's bring that. Good. We need to bring power, of course. Should... Well, we didn't bring any big electric... No, we did, actually. Awesome. Well, we're just going. Good. Whoops. How many is this? 36, so that's more than enough. Or one build, I mean. We don't really need to make the 80 per second of this that we need, but... Well, especially when we don't have enough miners. Might as well just keep them in the same line then. Good. Where did I leave power? 
here. Good, we have mining. Oh, the mining speed here is actually very low, so this is not going to give us a lot. I think it's only half a belt, since mining speed is 0 0.5 per second. We do have productivity, of course, but... Oh well. I should really pin this. So let's assume we have a full belt here. 30 per second. If we unpin this and just say three, we use 30 per second. It needs to be crushed. And crushing it gives us... Oh wait, this is only 15 per second. So we could take two belts and put into each of the eight of these. Do we need any fruits for that? No. And then we output sand and cryonite powder. And we do 1.5 of these. Yes, good. So that's our one belt. And we have little more than one belt of output. If we just run two lines, then we don't have to worry about doing filter inserters. And we can just filter it at the end. So here we're just splitting this because then we have more throughput and then here we can filter. And to the right. Whoops, right. Yeah. And we are just going to turn that into landfill. Because that's a nice way to get rid of it, I guess. I guess we could also look into what you can use it for, like glass, concrete. But why not just landfill? One landfill for 200 sand. That's... We get two landfill every 100 seconds from this then, or just about. How fast is this? We make 1.25 two times a second, so that's two and a half per second. We need a little bit more output then. And I need a assembling machine to make the landfill, just so we don't bag up and start to store some of that stuff in the sand. Unless, of course, we want to put this crust stuff directly into... Did we not store enough? I guess we didn't store enough power, I mean. It's okay. Could we take the output of these and put into nine of these? Maybe just eight to keep the numbers simple. We could. Do we want to though? Nah, it's okay on this build. You make crystals, you need steam in, that's fine, you get water out, that's also fine. It just means we need to prioritize some water for the steam. Nine. Pipe. 
Do we have any water nearby here? We only have water in the starting area. That seems a little weird. When we have so much on Norvis. I'm just Oh, is it because it's frozen? Is this supposed to be water and it's ice? Oh, and here's the edge of the map. No, there's more water. Okay. So I guess this is just a water... Uh. Oh, there's water up there as well. That's just done a lot of water here, I guess. Compared to Norvis. Norvis. That's okay. Do we think we just have too few accumulators or do we have too little stuff overall? It's hard to tell. Let's not overlap our current footprint here. We get the same out of it anyway. Is it not still morning? Because then it seems like we definitely do not have enough accumulator uh, supply, whatever accumulators available. Guess we're just gonna run water out and down here. Sure thing. We need power for that though. come down around here it doesn't have to be perfect also i need to turn it into steam first and i should really have a look at the steam thing electric boiler i just need the one actually okay need to go a little bit further but that should be fine right Yep, good. Oh no. If I fly, do I take damage? Uh, yes, I do. Dang. Nope. I should not have committed to that. Sometimes I'm stupid. I really didn't think we would take damage when flying. But oh well. So, before we respawn, I guess we want more solar panels. 
Nothing is running right now, and that's why we don't consume a lot of power. But I still think we want more. Otherwise, aren't we just good? I want to see if we can use uh, normal electric furnaces here for iron and stuff. If we do this, then we get here. Okay, that wasn't the smartest in the world. So we respawn with this, but I really don't want that. On the other hand, it would have helped me right there to just be able to heal a little bit. Oh well. Anything here we want to bring back? Yes. Go to Novice, please. Oh, I didn't look if we could go to the other planet. Because we maybe should bring a rocket silo and enough rocket parts to launch again with us. And I brought all of my stuff, so now we don't have a lot of stuff here. That's a bit annoying. Can we stack these? We need some gear first, though. And I don't have my suit, so we can't fly around. So we don't want to do too much stuff before we go back. But I would like to bring a rocket silo and enough to build a rocket, I guess. Though that means we also need rocket fuel in big enough amounts. Uh, so insert us. Some steel to build some chests. And stuff to build a rocket silo. Steel. Radars, storage tanks. Storage tanks require more steel. Pipe. We should bring one of these as well then, shouldn't we? So we don't have a broken rocket every time we go back and forth. I think so. 200 processing units. And radars. We shouldn't... Oh, we wouldn't have any of those here, right? By any chance? We have four. Plus four. And then we want this, and another thousand steel and concrete. And let's see if we can get some stone into this concrete production, because that's not going too well. So you just put it right here. When we need 10 more radars and this 10 steel chest that I only made 9 of. Oh, I used one of, I guess. Iron. 
screen. Good. Wait, if I brought all my stuff, shouldn't I have had electric furnaces available? Where did I die? There. No furnaces there. And as far as I can see, no furnaces here either. So we do want to bring some of those. Also, we want more miners because we already used all of them. Sure, 250. And then what? Then we want enough stuff to assemble a rocket. And we wanted to stack the rocket segments. Each of these are five, and you get the same back when you unstack them. Yes. So we need 20 of those. And we need one of these. That is well furbished. And what else? The fuel. If we are to go to here, 75,000 liquid rocket fuel, we get 50 out of each of these. I can't do math. Clear. 1500. That should... Please close. That should be possible. I put debris here. And then I also put it into a chest. Oh, that's for later. Sometimes I don't make a lot of sense. So that is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By ten. By ten. So one thousand. We need another five hundred. And some extra. Is that all? Might as well bring more stuff.
could we need more of? Oh, the power stuff. Solar panels and accumulators. I automated that, right? Properly. Yes. At least solar panels, not accumulators, though. Also, I'm just gonna bring this over near the rocket. Because I forgot about it last time we went to space. We did still have a bunch of accumulators, so that's not the biggest problem. Good. I think we're just going with this. Because I don't want to just sit around wondering what we still need. And we can just go. Bring all of it. Sure thing. Right. We did bring furnaces. Yes. Good. You go to TNEO. Go. So we're going to deposit this down there, then get our body, and then come get the rest. I guess. Actually, I'll just take some of that. I don't know if we have enough on the body. We probably do, but better safe than sorry. Oh, I should have brought cliff explosives, which we don't have, of course, but... Was that everything I had? Oh, I guess I just did just pick out what we needed from the warehouse. Okay. Up to our lock rocket landing again, which was up here somewhere. There. Can we throw something on the ground, please? Oh, and I guess the robots just filled that then. Good. Chests. We don't want the scrap right now. We just want to make sure that these have been removed. I don't want to put everything in that I need in a little bit. So we will go with this. We should still be able to carry everything, so no problem. Maybe with the exception of the scrap, but we'll see. Hey, 
Is that everything? No. That should be everything. Good. Might as well get that down. It's weird that these don't require power. I think they should. But maybe that's just a way to be a little bit more safe against being stuck or something like that. Let's have a look at furnaces and bring these. Furnace, 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 furnace. Am I blind? I have it right here. There you go here at least. Unlike in space. But we can't make this with it. Dang it, don't kill me. that it is good I got a little confused about my weapons here let's get those back in the normal order good I was going for an assembly machine when I died honestly we don't need a lot here. Again, it's 200. We just need a fast inserter for it. Oh, and we need these belts to be balanced somehow. How do we do that without limiting ourselves? Maybe we should have just used filter inserters. Maybe do this. Did that give us a full belt or is it a little bit limited? And we don't even need the full belt here, by the way. Are these inserts too slow? Yes, they are. Then the output is probably too slow as well. It is building up, yes. Oh, but it's backed up now. So I don't know. Oh, I went for pipe as well. Yes, we need this. Some of this goes on into the last part, but that's fine. It will be mixed with the output of this here.
And here we actually need the same pipe set up. I guess we should have just have space between these, but now we're putting power poles out here. Something like that, sure. Steam for this stuff. Should probably just be around here. One water can come in there, the other can come from up here. And then we basically need a top-up valve here somehow to only input when there's less than so amount. Which we are just going to do with a storage tank, I guess. It is just 100 degree steam, right? Just some sort of steam. Yeah, so this is going to fill up now. Which is bad. Now we should run back out of it. Four water from six steam. One steam for one water, yes. A pump? No, no pump, no storage tanks, no circuitry. Let's see if we can't find that. Circuitry, storage tanks, pumps. Good. Remove that, put a tank, measure the tank, if water below basically anything, so just a thousand, then work. Now I sort of want to mirror this at some point so i have this over here as well but that doesn't seem to be a problem we have so much space in the middle up here so we now have crystals and powder on a build and should just put it in an industrial furnace oh we need Heavy oil for that. Of course we do. And we need to make that locally. It's just 1.5 per second, so that is not a lot. So we just need oil from one of these. This one seems like this. Let's, let's work with the biters, so let's kill them up there. And just grab our refineries and stuff. Oh, I already grabbed those, never mind. How are we doing on power? The solar power panels are still making enough. But I think we are going down at the moment. Maybe, maybe not. Well, we're not shooting on stuff that's frozen. And do worms not like being frozen? Okay, now it sort of came back to life and then died, okay. We will kill these as well.
Don't die again, please. Good. Okay, we need power. Good. And are we just going to refine it right here? I think we are. We need water here as well though. Maybe we just bring the oil out here then. Just a little bit at least. But then we have power right here, so why don't we just bring water in here? We will set this up as if we are going to expand it at some point, though. So this can go further down. Good. Power. Wait, we get all sorts of things from this. Isn't there a way to just get heavy oil? Apparently not. For now, though, I am just going to store this. We can always make rocket fuel out of this later. For now, that is not our goal, though. We will run this out alongside this I feel we should at least I am just gonna do it ugly here so we can get it pretty on the other end. <laughs> Good. You do this. You need a bunch of stuff in. We need two more of these. And we need to somehow power that. Whatever. And then we have our product. Good. 
that should be the last piece we need for uh, utility science, space utility, or whatever it's called. It is just utility. Okay. It's maiden space, though. If we just duplicate this again. Just to remove some of our backup of resources. I just like to see that everything runs as it should, because it isn't at the moment because of power. So we will go and do more solar panel and accumulator stuff. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.